everyone welcome back to the channel today i am super excited to share with you these fragrances that were added to my perfume collection these ones were given to me by a very generous heart the very same person that gave me a bunch of samples more than a couple of months ago she sent over you guys 20 fragrances some of these were even unopened and a lot of these were ones that i really wanted to try and ones that i really wanted to add to my collection. So ones that were in my wish list. I'm gonna start with these fragrances right here, you guys. This one is Amya Garnet from Bulgari's Amya Crystal Collection. And this one is a perfect scent for spring and summer. It's very citrus heavy. It's citruses, white florals, and some woody ambery base. Um, I don't really see this one shining as much during fall and winter. As I said, very fitting for spring and summer. And yeah, I can see myself wearing this one a lot during um, warmer weather. So this one is Bulgari Omnia Garnet. And here is a surprising fragrance. This one is Wood by D Squared. So I didn't really expect anything from this bottle. So just by looking at it, you know, not you don't, it's not really something that you would be drawn to or not like personally, I'm not really drawn to it. But this one, aside from the magnetic cap, which is great, this one is really nice. So this is my kind of floral fragrance. So this is more of a fresh green floral scent. This is Ambroxan in the base, which you can really get in the fragrance as this one dries down. And this one is a very noticeable lily of the valley. It's really nice. It's a very fresh uplifting kind of a scent it reminds me of something that i already have in my collection i really can't pinpoint what it is maybe something in the realm of romance by ralph Lauren or inflorescence or something like that because of the lily of the valley but yeah this is really surprisingly good you know i didn't really expect a lot from this scent but yeah another scent that i would consider as a perfect all year kind of scent for me cool. um mood or the whole feel of the scent it being a very fresh kind of a clean scent would be perfect for i would say work or school or going to the gym or you know doing errands so yeah wood by d squared this i was really surprised to see my way by Giorgio armani this is the edp version if you've been in my channel for a while you know how much i love this scent profile and this fragrance in particular my way edp this is a fruity kind of a tuberose fragrance if you are not a big fan of tuberose then this one would not be the kind of scent for you because this is tuberose forward i don't have this currently in my collection because i have this weird thing you know like this together with um leap by ysl and another fragrance that you can see here, I don't have them because I, I think they're just too expensive for the scent profile. But then, you know, I can't explain why I go ahead and blind buy a lot of niche fragrances. But yeah, very, very happy that I finally have this in my perfume collection. This was in my perfume wish list. I took it out of my wish list because I had a Zara dupe of it. But the Zara just doesn't come close with this one. This one is really, really long-lasting. I immediately sprayed this on my arm when I got my package. And it stayed throughout the whole day up until the next day. So this is EDP My Way by Giorgio Armani. And another fragrance that I'm too cheap to add to my collection. This one is Prada La Femme EDP. This was included in my 2020 fragrances wish list um i see this a lot featured in for example like boss lady fragrances or office fragrances because it really is a very like put together um rich kind of scent it's a clean green tuberose and you have to love your tuberose to love this um i wasn't really the biggest fan of tuberose um, I noticed it immediately in fragrances. Surprisingly, when I smelled Prada La Femme, I just fell in love with this one with how soapy, green, fresh, and clean it is. So I have these two right here. Super excited. Um, as you can see, I put already a big dent in this one. I, these, I think these were just sampled by my perfume fairy because they were full when I got them. So this is from the house that I will not try to pronounce. And I have here Amand Fleury and Vanille Oriental. Amand Fleury, by the name, is a floral almond kind of scent. I expected this one to be more in the realm of Van Cleef & Arpels Bois Diamond, like a very biscuity, like fluffy 
creamy sweet kind of almond this is more of a floral kind of almond scent and this one i have been wearing a lot i wore this like for three days straight ever since i got the package Vanille oriental so this one i think has tonka bean and vanilla so it's a very sugary kind of vanilla but it's not really sweet it reminds me of vanilla 28 by kayali minus the orchid in that i think that one has orchid i'm not sure but yeah this one is more focused on like a brown sugary kind of vanilla with tonka bean and um, that's what i get in the scent i'm not really sure about the fragrance notes that are in here but yeah i really love this here i have henne mori this is the edt i have heard a lot of great things about this fragrance this has been in and out of my cart for so long and i don't know why i just couldn't decide to get this one or to add this one even though i hear a lot of great things about it and this is just my kind of scent it's a fruity floral scent you can never go wrong with a scent like this even if you're not really the biggest fan of florals i think this is something that you know you would like or you would you know tolerate at least because it's not a very strong kind of scent if you love florals you'd love this if you're not really the biggest fan of florals i think you know you would still like this one but you know yeah it's worth a try really nice i am very very thankful i finally have this this one, one is field escape by the perfumist i'm not really familiar with this fragrance brand and if i'm not mistaken i haven't seen anyone talk about this fragrance house i'm not really so sure this is the box the perfumist field escape and it has pear and vanilla um again i'm not really familiar with this one but this you guys is a very very beautiful scent this one is a warm vanilla with pear in it and it's something that i would describe as you know very cottony and soft a sweater weather kind of scent even though it's not just for fall and winter it's an all year kind of scent but it's more like you know if a cardigan or a sweater would have a scent it'd be this one you know like in the fruity kind of way and then i have a new bottle of escadas celebrate now the nature of women i think this one was a 2020 or 2021 release um i have seen this one online and i've seen this one in stores too but i wasn't really drawn to it i wasn't drawn to sample it because i just have this idea of escada fragrances being you know more or less the same just different versions of you know like the scent like it could be like more watermelon forward or more floral forward but this one was a surprise when i look at you know the bottle the box also it makes you think of like roses and peony because of the colors um that's what i imagine with this scent like roses peony or maybe like orange blossom or you know i don't know sakura i don't know roses but this is a vanilla fragrance you guys it's warm it's sweet um it has a smoothness to it a milkiness to it it has cinnamon tonka bean and magnolia as a main floral but what i really get a lot here is that hint of ginger because ginger is a top note it doesn't really suit the color the whole design of the bottle but you know nature of women i can see this one being like a perfect kind of scent for women it's very nurturing it's very warm and loving and it's just like a warm hug and then i have a fragrance here that i've been wanting to try for so long this one is i don't know how you pronounce it orum or here we would pronounce it as orum like this is a very unique bottle you know it's like yeah what yes gold yeah this is a very rich if i can say it's more of like a warm spicy kind of a scent a lot of woods in the base i don't really know the notes but um yeah perfect for fall and winter i think this one has peach if i'm not mistaken a lot of fruity notes in here too but yeah i get a lot of woods some spices and yeah it's a dry warm kind of a scent so autumn autumn Aurum by Ajmal. From Ajmal, let us go to Afnan. I have a backup bottle of Rare Tiffany. You guys know how much I love Rare Tiffany. I raved about Rare Tiffany. I still love it. I have a backup bottle. This one, oh, like I'm going to keep the box. I threw away my box. This one, I'm going to keep it. You have heard me talk about this fragrance this is a creamy white floral tropical aquatic kind of a scent i love it i finally have a backup bottle i think i'm gonna put it here at the back because then you guys would know that this is like a backup bottle keep it inside the box now let us go to another fragrance that i have been wanting to add i finally have signature 
by Mont Blanc. I've heard a lot of people talk about this like a year this ago. This is how it looks like. You guys already know a lot of people have been raving about this one. But this one lives up to the hype, you guys. This is creamy, it's milky, it's warm, it's fluffy. This one has that um, musky, warm base. So a fragrance just like um, the perfumist Field Escape. Field Escape. I can see myself wearing these like all year, very comfy. And also this one, Violet Musk. Did I talk about this fragrance? I don't know if I talked about this. I think I already talked about this fragrance. This one is Violet Musk by KKW. Um, it has lavender, which I really get a lot. And it, this is a very comfy, cozy kind of a scent. So something that I know I would wear throughout the whole year. I want to wear it every day. Something I can wear to work for sure. But, you know, I don't want to wear it because I know this one is harder to find. Another powdery, soft, sweet floral fragrance. Narciso Poudre. Ever since I got a decant or a sample from Claire Smith, I'm going to link that video down below. I fell in love with this one and I just can't find it. I can't find it anywhere. Um, and I have this one. Like, what? I have this one now. A 50 ml bottle. This is 50 ml. I think this is 50 ml. Mm. Check that video out to see my reaction. This one is more of a white floral musky fragrance. <sighs> so happy I finally have it. This one is from the house Liujo from Italy. And this one is Milano. This is a designer brand and I know they have jewelry, they have um, clothes. And this one, I don't, well, when I looked at it, I expected this one to smell something like Orum or Orum would smell like, you know? But this is very gourmand leaning. I looked up the notes, this one has chocolate and some fruity notes, vanilla and some woody notes. But, you know, I immediately got like chocolate in here and, um, it's almost something caramelly. It doesn't have caramel, but you know, another fragrance that, you know, it doesn't, the look doesn't really fit the whole scent profile, just like Escada. This one smells like, this one to me has a very bakery kind of smell. This is a Gourmand fragrance, another one that I know I will be wearing a lot. I want to explore more from this scent. I hope you guys can smell this one, you know, like let me know if you guys are familiar with this brand or if you guys have tried, you know, fragrances from this house. This is a very rich, warm, comfy, very fall, winter kind of scent. Delicious Milano by Liu Jo. Very nice. Loving that This one. is Prada Candy Sugar Pop. I get more of that sugary, almost candy-like smell in the dry down, not really in the entrance. It's more citruses or fruity notes in the entrance, floral in the middle, and then that sugary, almost warm base. So this is Prada's Candy Pop. That was a brand new one. And then I have another brand new, like, brand new when she gave it to me you yes. know this is eilish by billy eilish so i've seen a lot of reviews about this fragrance when it was released i think it was during summertime i expected this one to smell maybe like um uh vanille oriental you know i i don't know why but i kind of like imagined this scent in this bottle but this one is more spicy amber woody kind of a scent this has vanilla yes it has some sweet notes but on me i get you know citruses on top you know it's more of like a toned down citrus and a bunch of spicy notes in the base billy eilish eilish this one this is missinian spa con candy and lily of the valley so it came in this box right here so it's a very uh almost unicorn like i don't know like like that's how i imagine this um the smell to be okay this one i heard monahil talk about this fragrance a couple of years ago or was it last year and she described this one as a marshmallow kind of scent so it's that orange blossom or neroli with some vanilla i wrote this down in my wish list and i don't know why ever since i think i got um grimov de noel i just kind of gave up on adding more marshmallow-ish kind of scents but when i saw this i was like oh my god like I, I was speechless i was speechless like a lot of these fragrances here like i don't know like my perfume fairy it just i just feel like you know she knows the fragrances that i want to add to my collection this one has I think Neroli, Orange Blossom, 
vanilla it smells like a floral marshmallow it's a sugary floral kind of scent powdery pillowy reminds me of marshmallow so love your ave by nino amadeo perfumes it's a niche brand i mean like mm. I can't. And the last one is Crown Perfumes Golden. So I'm not really familiar with this fragrance house. This is a Middle Eastern fragrance house. It came in this box. When I saw this, like I was really scared to spray it. Like I didn't know what to expect, but I had an idea of how this one would smell like. Like very oud heavy. I don't know. I guess because when I kind of figured that it's a Middle Eastern fragrance, it would be oud heavy. I don't know the notes. I can't find them, but this one has that almost medicinal feel, but in a comfy kind of way, if I can say that. You know, it's not really that bitter medicinal, like an attack to the nostrils, but it's more of like a spicy, almost like, I don't know why I'm imagining like scented oils or scented hair pomade when I smell, <laughs> when I look at this and when I smell it. But you know, it's soft enough that you know you wouldn't really notice it and it's like a comfy comforting kind of scent not comfy but comforting kind of scent so this one is golden by crown perfumes i think i covered all the fragrances that's all 20 fragrances you guys some surprises here this one escada celebrate now beautiful warm vanilla and this Gorgeous Gourmand, beautiful fall winter scent, Lujo Milano. I am very, very excited to explore and wear these fragrances more. As I said, a lot of these were in my wish list. You know, Mont Blanc, Narciso Poudre, La Vierve. This one was a surprise too. I really wanted to try this. Like all of these, I am very, very thankful. Thank you to my perfume fairy for sending these over. You know, you gave me a lot of new fragrances. Like these, the, this one was brand new. This one was brand new too. And the Billie Eilish one, but yeah. I'm not going to go on, make this video any longer. Let me know if you are familiar with some of these fragrances. Are there any here that you want me to talk about more? Let me know down in the comments section. Once again, thank you so much for spending a big chunk of your day watching today's video. Have fun, much love, stay safe, and see you in the next one.